Before I started going to the pool, I used to run. 5Ks, 10Ks, didn't matter. Not how fast I sprinted, not whether I came in first. It was like trying to outrun my own shadow. But it's not my shadow I'm running from now. It's his. And he was running long before I was. I said turn off the engine! a getaway. Bad news. That's the idea. Cut the engine. Christ, I can't believe this. <sighs> We're alive. That's something, at least. You get that we're dumb for, right? We could still go to the cabin. How? On a magic carpet? Half the damn state's looking for us. And if anyone knows it's there... Cops will be halfway to Devil's Gulch before they realize they're not following us. The cabin's off-grid. Bear never told a soul about the place. We don't know that for sure. It's a huge risk. Well, Jesus, Tyler, we gotta go somewhere. Ma's right. The cabin's the safest place we got. Nobody asked you. Hey, don't talk to him like that. I want my daddy. Rob the sheriff, bust to Mexico, fuck, Ma. <laughs> All we do is cover up one mistake with the next one. We left Dale lying there. We just... We just left him. Why don't we talk in private? Keep an eye on the kid. Now I know none of this has gone like we planned. And what happened to your brother? Oh, Stop it. What are you doing? I don't want to be here. Right now, Please, let me go. We have to give ourselves the best chance of getting out of this mess. What are they going to do with you? Those woods are too dangerous. But don't worry, you're safe here with me, okay? We're heading for the cabin. We'll be safe about it. Mm -hmm. Let's hit the highway before that chopper circles back. You sure Pa didn't tell anyone the cabin's there? Barely told me about it. I guess the motorcycle's there. And the food. See? Now you're looking on the bright side. <laughs> the door's stuck! I can't get them out! They're gonna die in there! Hey, you hear that? Fuck! They found us! We gotta leave 
them! Go, go, go! Oh my god! Zoe! Come on! Not now! Help me! Just stay calm. I'm gonna get us out of here. to me. I'm gonna pull you out. Uh, uh, uh. <coughs> Ma! Tyler! It's all right. You're safe now. Why didn't my daddy come and find me? Maybe he tried. I didn't see... I was with my family. Your family isn't good. They did so many bad things. Our two families? They're really different, Zoe. Mine did things that yours would never have to. Nobody has to be bad. I wish it was that simple. Let's get off the road, okay? It's dangerous here. Oh, shit. Zoe, I gotta go. The cops will take care of you now. Please, don't leave me. You're gonna be okay. Maybe it won't be easy after everything that's happened, but you'll be all right. I think I saw someone run. Out to the cabin and get high. Where is it? Oh, why can't I find it? The, the cabin. I, I think I need water.
Somewhere at the edge of the world lies the lost fortress of awesomeness. All those who seek it have perished. All except one fearless young adventurer. His name? Ash Willema. Famed for his courage, his honor, and his, uh, his... His movie star good looks. And this is the story of his quest. No! Look, Shima! I drew the story about the fort. You know, the one Ryan saw in the forest? There are no forts in Arizona. He's making it up. No, it's true. He was out hiking with his dad, out by the ridge. There's a rock shaped like a shark's tooth. That's where they saw it. Mm-hmm. I was thinking, wouldn't it be awesome if we went looking for it too? We could camp out for the night and, uh, I don't know, do other cool stuff like, uh, like, We could take some rope and tie it to a tree and make a swing. It'd be amazing, just like Tarzan. Now, if you want to get outdoors, why don't you go ride your bike? And while you're at it, go get the mail. Besides, we can't this weekend because I- Because I'd... you're busy, like always. I bet my dad would have gone with me. You have no idea what kind of man your father turned out to be. All right, if you say so, whatever. Hey, buddy, you be careful on that road now. It'll be dark soon and you ain't got lights. Go get the mail, Ash. Screw this. Thunderstorms ahead, climbing to 30,000 feet. Planes have gone, but the quest continues. Huh. No, this, this can't be right. Ah, oh, Mom. If you'd come with me, we could have found it by now. Gotta be something I can eat. Come to Ash. Uh -uh. Hello? the 
hell is that? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. By the ridge. You're a rock shaped like a shark's tooth. No way. So good. <sighs> Please let there be a medicine cabinet. What's the news? Hate to say it, but we've lost them in the woods. <sighs> Send out search parties. And notify local radio stations. I want everyone in the country knowing the name Halt. Roger that. <sighs> Tragedy, isn't it? Man in his prime. Wife and a kid. We need a body bag over here. The Halts. Think we're gonna catch them? I'd say 50-50. The next 24 hours are critical. So it just depends on how smart they are.
That's the woodman's cottage. It was my mom's, so don't drop it. Are you the one who found me? You're in pretty rough shape. You got babbling about some cabin or something. Are you lost? No. I, uh, I got hit by a car. Where? In the forest? On the highway. I must have hit my head and wondered. Oh. Wow. Well, maybe I should call 911. I'd drive you to the hospital, but I'm not supposed to use a car. No. My family, we can't afford medical bills. Well, don't you have insurance? I mean, yeah, but you know how it is. They still make you pay more than you can. Well, I'm glad you're alive. I wasn't sure for a while there. Are you okay? You went to Two Rock High, right? I, uh, yeah, the high school. I went for a while. Thought so. You used to eat lunch alone under that gnarly tree by the parking lot, right? The juniper. Yeah, that was me. Tell me your name again. It's Dean. Hey, Dean. I'm Vanessa. Look, could I rest here a while? My head, it's... I'll stay out of the way, I promise. Hmm. I guess I don't mind the company. But you have to be gone before eight, or my dad will kill us both. And just so we're clear, I once kicked a guy in the nuts so hard he swallowed his own tongue. <laughs> Good to know. Here. These are all, but they're clean. Thank you. <laughs> so, why'd you leave TRH? You got sick of Mrs. Campbell always sending everyone to detention? Nah, I dropped out. That makes two of us, by the way. I mean, technically I was pulled out so I could go to a lame Catholic school and be told what to wear and what to think, but what was your excuse? Turned 16. Didn't have to anymore. But don't you want an education? I'm getting one. School of life. See? Much better. BB, where's my sandwich? I'll be right there. Who was that? Oh, it's just my Mima. Are you hungry? You're gonna behave yourself today, right, Mima? Hang on, I forgot my cigarettes. You haven't smoked in years. Haven't I? Nope. We have some new developments in what police are now calling the Desert Dream Massacre. We knew one of the shooters was killed at the scene, but it's been confirmed. Three more are still on the loose. You okay with ham and cheese? Oh, none of those disgusting sliced singles. The gunman who died was identified as Dale Holt of Two Rock, who had a prior conviction for assault. There's speculation the other suspects are members of the same family. Mima, we have a visitor. Um, hello there. Hang on, I know that voice. Huh? Oh Lord Almighty, you're home. Is it really you, Maddie? Uh, hi, Mima. I missed you. My grandbaby. Where have you been all this time? Oh, I was, um... On an exchange program, living with another family. Here. Let me help. So, 
Matt, when you were with that other family, what did you do all day? I'm just curious, since you weren't at school and all. Just do chores, mostly. Take care of the yard. If my brothers, I mean, my friends, if they're home, maybe we go to the dump and find something we can fix, you know? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Who doesn't chill at the dump? Matthew, you're gonna get an earful from your father being away from home for so long. Why would you even say that? Do you know how much hell your father's been through losing your mother? The two of you don't understand what it's like for him. Could you try not taking his side for once? <sighs> I'm gonna go listen to murder, she wrote. Welcome home, Maddie. She used to be my role model. She had a motorcycle license, she knew karate. Now she either can't find her pants or can't remember how to put them on. Matt, Matthew, he's your... My brother. <laughs> He died in a car accident. How did it happen? Spring break? A year ago? Matt was grounded as usual. My dad's always grounding us. So he snuck out to this party. Said I wouldn't have liked it. Though, I think he just wanted to keep me out of trouble. And when he wasn't at breakfast the next morning, our dad was furious. And then we got the call. It happened on his way home. My brother died too. Kind of recent. How? He got shot. Fuck. That's... Ugh. That's horrible. I know. Look, do you mind if I study for a little bit? Finals start next week, and I haven't opened a book all semester. Can I help clean up? Be my guest. You know, you were smart to drop out. I mean, do we really need to know three ways Andrew Jackson changed the U.S. presidency? <sighs> Don't think so. If this comes up, I'm just going to skip it. Sorry. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's just a plate. So, were you close? Huh? To your brother. Once, he shot me six times with a BB gun. <sighs> but he looked out for me when Pa was drinking. So, I guess it depended on the day. Your dad, he's a drunk or something? Was a drunk. He's dead now, too. Damn, your luck's as bad as mine. What happened? He hung himself. I'm the one who found him. Jesus, Dean. This is a, a horrible thing to say, but sometimes I wish my dad would die or whatever. Come on, we don't mean that. You'd understand if you knew him. He's a control freak. Ever thought of just leaving? Saying no to the whole thing? Where would I even go? Just... someplace else. There is no place else. Anyway, sorry that got so dark. <laughs> hey, you want to help me study? Oh, I don't think I'll be much help. <laughs> yeah, you will. It's always better with someone else. Okay, sure. Minnesota? Nope. <laughs> Wyoming? Still no. Oh my god, I give up. It's Alaska. 
Over three million acres of parks, all protected. Only place with more is Canada. Let me see. Okay, your turn. What? No, I Which don't- Which president signed the 1906 oh. Landmark Antiquities Act, created the Forest Service, and established five national parks, including the Grand Canyon? Wait, I think I saw this on TV. Bill Clinton? He's president now, you dork. <laughs> the correct answer is Teddy Roosevelt. Oh. And I am officially going to fail. So? You don't need some tests to know that you're, you're smart and... You know what? Never mind. Dean, that was, like, really sweet. <laughs> Shit, he's home early. Just say you're a friend from school. Actually, no, say you're my study partner. The school paired us up because... Hi, Dad. I thought you were working late. I didn't see another car out front. Who's this? Uh... This is Dean, from school. Hello, Dean, from school. Hello, sir. Well, I'm glad to see you studying. But remind me, Dean, which school do you go to? Uh, the Bridgley School. Hmm. Yeah, that's right. Dean's new at school. That's why the academic office put us into a study group together. Fine. But you didn't ask permission. Well, you weren't around to ask. I should go. You're not going anywhere. I like to know who my daughter spends her time with. You're a cop? I run a private security firm. His company guards banks. In a town that hasn't had a bank robbery in decades. Enough, Vanessa. Anyway, that might be changing. You hear about this motel massacre down on Route 66? Oh, right, on the radio earlier. Well, I hope they catch them. So do I. There's a manhunt underway. Once the FBI gets some sketches of this Holt family, their faces will be all over the country. Hey, son. Mm. I need your help with something. Get back to the study. And next time, you ask before you bring a stranger in the house. I am so, so sorry. I really think I should leave. You can't. Not yet. Vanessa, where's Mima's audio book? Hang on. It's probably in the bathroom. Dean? Jay, you in there? Wake up and hang these bush tails in the pantry for me. Jay? Damn it, I'll do it myself. Uh. Son of a bitch! Uh. Come here! Uh. 
the fuck are you doing here? Huh? Speak up. I, I, I got hurt. Where? Hmm. Oh. Been through the ringer, ain't you? Oh. Don't you hear about this place? Huh? Who told you? I swear, I didn't hear about it. You look a little young to be working for those assholes. But something tells me you ain't being straight with me. I am being straight. I am being straight. I promise. Nobody told me about this place. That's right. Because it don't exist. I reckon there's only one reason you came here. And that's to steal my stuff. <laughs> just looking, but I didn't take anything. Looking, snooping, it's all the same thing. Where are you from? Uh, well, well, my mom is half Diné, half Maori. You dumb shit. I was asking where you lived. Never mind. And this mom of yours, does she know you're here, thief? No. I sneaked out without telling her. Hmm. She doesn't care what I do anyway. And I'm not a thief. I caught a kid trying to steal from my wallet once. Got my knife under his chin. A <laughs> knife just like this one. Please don't. Why? What do you think I did to him? You... You set him free? You think I let him off the hook? Kids don't learn if you don't teach them. Told that boy I was gonna cut him loose after I cut a piece off him. But seeing as I'm a reasonable man, I let him choose which, finger or ear. Now it's your turn. Choose. Make it quick. Finger, huh? That's exactly what he chose. That's when I see tears coming. So I tell him, there's no greater shame than stealing from your own father. And as he was my eldest son, I was gonna teach him some respect. Now that may sound harsh, but it's no different to how my pappy taught me. And afterwards, I said, you'll thank me for it. He never thanked me for it. Instead, he started to cry for his mama. So I let him go. Listen good, you little fuck. You know what'll happen if I see you here again. So run home to your mama and never look back. Now run, Meatball. Faster! Before I change my mind! Huh? What are you shooting at? <laughs> yes! Yes! A road! Please don't be... Ah! Mom. Mom. I'm sorry. I should have come straight home.
Uh. 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 Adventure camp? Hope you and your boy have a great trip, Miss Willemma. He's gonna be so surprised. That's today. Oh, Mom. Are you okay? Hey, Pa! Pa! Over here! Someone's hurt! It's a spiral fracture. He'll need surgery. That's all they can say. Not how he ended up outside the ER half dead. Joyce, I had every man I could spare looking for him. You want to talk to him? Make it quick. <sighs> hey there, kid. You're gonna be okay. Your mom says you were looking for a fort, huh? You want to tell me about it? I just need to know what happened in those woods, that's all. It was... There was a cabin. I... I saw... I saw a man. A, a poacher, I think. Poachers. He... Ash? I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. He's delirious. It's the meds. He doesn't know what he's saying. Yeah, all the same, if poachers are using a cabin in those woods, we should know about it. I'll get a couple deputies to go back over there and see what turns up. Jay! Oh, God. I thought I lost you. Have you seen anyone looking for us? Not since we ran. We're safe here, honey. I don't know. We're on the radio, Ma. What were you thinking? Sneaking up on us like that. Were you followed? I know how to cover my tracks. You got some kind of plan? Beginnings of one. Dante's got an account number in that little black book. If it's what I think it is, then... That's for later. First, we need to get to Canada. Canada? Cops are gonna be all over the southern border, so we head north. You hate the cold. Don't worry, Jay. I got your back. You know that, right? I know Dale did. With you... Sometimes I don't know. I'll always look out for this family. No matter what. I'm gonna take first watch. You two get some rest. We got a long day tomorrow.
Oh, you sleep longer. I was tuning up the bike. Can we talk about this Canada thing? We're not going to Canada. We're going to Texas. Huh? I know a guy in Eagle Pass who can get us across the Grand. So, why'd you tell Jay North? Because he ain't coming. First thing tomorrow, I'll send him to Canab. Say he's our scout. By the time he gets back, we'll be long gone. No, I am not doing that to him. Ain't it bad enough we lost Dale? Hey, you think I want this? That I want any of it? <sighs> we both know Jay was never exactly your favorite. But I still looked out for him, didn't I? All I've ever done, I did for this family. Worked my butt off since I was 14. Been protecting you from Pa from when I was old enough to hit him back. Hell, I barely even had a life of my own. I was so busy dealing with everyone else's. For 25 years, it's always been me. Who takes it on the chin? Tyler the eldest. The responsible one. Well, enough's enough, Ma. I ain't going down with the ship. There's two seats on that motorcycle, not three. And Jay ain't getting one. What are you doing? Leaving. Uh, this is crazy. I'll stay. You two go. You'll never survive out here alone. But Jay will. He practically lives in these woods. I don't care. I'll die here if I have to. Nuh-uh. We're all gonna make it because Jay's gonna do the right thing and stay. You be the one. I don't want to be alone. Oh, come on. You love being alone. You've been running off alone ever since you learned to walk. Besides, you owe us. Owe you? You heard me. You're the one who lost the coat to the safe. You're the one who stole that goddamn book. I didn't know. Exactly. Because you're always in your own goddamn world. Pa, he treated you like you were some golden boy. But you've been lost in your daydream since the day we took you in. What? You're real, Mom. Should have done us a favor. Tyler, enough. What do you mean? My real mom? Mama? What's he talking about? You are blood, and I raised you as a son. So that makes me your mother. The rest doesn't matter. You're right. This family's my only family. Family? We're just your fucking babysitters. Jay! No! Oh, for Christ's sake! Let me go! Shouldn't have been Dale. Should have been you. Shh. Listen. You let them straight to us. I did it. I swear. Don't you dare! 
dare run, you coward! Not here. Let's check down him. Put your hands in the air, okay? I don't want to hurt you. Please, you don't need to shoot. You're under arrest for, well, shit, more crimes than I can name. If you try to resist, I will use deadly force. Now, I want you to slowly lie down, arms overhead. If you try to, you know, make any sudden moves. Uh. 